welcome to the Lockdown Project, okay? Hi to all our students at home. We hope you're doing very well. We hope you're not too bored at the moment. And uh, for anyone that doesn't know who I am, I'm Sarah, I'm from Creation Drama Studio. And on the camera, the person you can't see is Ian, who also teaches at Creation Drama Studio. Okay, so we wanna tell you about the Lockdown Project. Now, what we want you to do is to create a movie monologue. What? what is a monologue? A monologue is a long speech which is given by just one person, one character, one actor, okay? Now Shakespeare liked to use a lot of monologues during his plays and often monologues are a way for the audience to understand how the characters thinking or feeling, but it could also be a, a character explaining a situation or telling a story to another character as well. So this is what we're gonna do. You are going to create a character from scratch and then you're going to create a story and then you're going to write the monologue and record it for us. And we're here to take you through the different step-by-step -step processes of that. Now we have some worksheets to help you with that, we have some help sheets to help you on, along the way and we hope you're going to have a lot of fun doing it. Now there's a couple of things you're going to need. You're going to need access to a computer, okay? And if you've got a printer, that'd be great because we've got some help sheets that you can print off and you can use them. But if you don't have a printer, don't worry. Uh, you'll need a little notebook though because you're gonna write down notes about your character and also you're gonna have to write your monologue as well. So we're so excited for you to join us with the lockdown project. We think it's gonna be lots of fun. Now let's move on and tell you about step one. Welcome back and welcome to step one of the lockdown project. Uh, step one is all about creating your character. So you want to find your create a character worksheet and also your help sheets as well, okay? So we're gonna start on page one of the worksheets. Creating a character. Now creating a character can be really exciting and really fun, but it can also be a little bit difficult as well. But that's why I've got this help sheets in place, that's to help you to come up with these ideas and create a really cool character. We're going to start with the facts, okay? Here, the facts. So, what are the facts? First of all, a name. Your character has to have a name, okay? And a name is important. Your name is part of your identity. So make sure you do think about this. Now, if you're really, really stuck and you have no idea where to start with a name, we have our character name creator to help you. You may have seen these before online and stuff where you want to find your superhero name or something like that. That's just what it's like. So. Step one, you take the first initial of your first name. My name's Sarah, so that would be S. And I go down, I find Sarah, and then my name, my first name would be Hannah, okay? Then for your middle name, you're going to take the last initial of your last name. My name's Shaw, which would be a W. So go down to W, Madeline. And then lastly, you're going to take the, the day, sorry, the day you were born. I was born on the 27th of June. So I go to 27 and I have Crawford. Put those all together, my name will be Hannah Madeline Crawford. It's as simple as that. If you don't need help, you can come with it all by yourself, but this is to give you a little hand, okay? Next, their birthday. This is important. We need to know how old they are and when they were born. Everybody has a birthday, your character needs a birthday too. What's interesting about birthdays is lots of people think that when we were born can say a lot about what we're like as a person, about our character. So what we've got here as well is our zodiac help sheet, okay? So if you look at this, we've got all the different star signs on here, okay? And you can look at the different characteristics that are shown in that star sign. So if you want a bit of help deciding what kind of character you want to, to work with, just have a look at this. It's got different characteristics, different emotions, and then you can decide on their birthday based on that. And then all you have to do is uh, narrow down the day and the exact month, and then put in the year, and then you have the age. So that's their birthday. And then the last of the facts is, where do they live? Do they live in a house, an apartment, a bungalow, maybe a houseboat or something like that? Who do they live with? Do they live alone? Are they young? Do they live with their parents or their grandparents? Uh, do they live with any brothers or sisters? Maybe they're going to university, university sorry, and they live with some flatmates or some friends. Who do they live with? Lastly, what do they do? Now, if you're a child character, okay, they're likely 
going to be going to school or something like that. If they're a bit older, maybe they go to university, maybe they have a job, or maybe they're older and they're retired, okay? What do they do? Make sure you write down what they do. Important thing about age, before I forget, do not make the character too much younger than what you are now, okay? We don't want any babies or anything like that because you need to be able to talk, you need to be able to communicate really well. So make them at least around your age. You can go older if you want to, you can go much older if you want to. Have fun with it, but do not make them too young, okay? So that's the facts. Start with the facts and then we'll move on. character is. Who the devil are you? So we've got the basics and now it's time to get creative. The more information you can include here the better. As the actor we work with information to build the character and bring the character to life. So the more you can throw in there the better it's going to be. We're going to start with likes and dislikes. Right? So what do they like? What are their hobbies? And what are their interests? Now, we've got a whole list of hobbies and interests on our help sheet here. You can see there's tons and tons of stuff here from different sports to things like acting, animation, crafting, drawing, all things like that. What does your character like to do or what are they interested in? Now, what's the difference between hobbies and interests? A hobby is something that someone actively takes part in, they actually do something. So if you're one of our students, your hobby might be acting and drama, or maybe you really like to do drawing. It's what you like to do in your spare time, okay? So a hobby is something you actually do. An interest is something that you're interested in, but you don't necessarily do it. So I might find uh, maybe astronomy fascinating, but I don't do anything with it. I just, I'm just interested in learning a bit about it. That would be an interest. The hobby, you actually do it. After that, we go on to their favourite foods, okay? Favourite music, favourite movies and TV shows. Maybe your character doesn't even watch TV or own a TV. Add that in there on here, okay? Make sure you do write everything in, all the decisions you make. And what are their favourite books as well? Okay, so start adding those in there. Along with that, you can add in anything they really don't like, okay? If there's any sports or anything, or, or, or anything like singing or music that they really don't like, you can put those in there as well. Or favourite foods, you can do the opposite and add in what foods they hate, okay? Make sure you add in both. We're then going to move on to this or that. Now, we have a few different words here that describe a character. Leader or follower, honest or dishonest. We want you to choose one from each pair, okay? If you don't understand what the word means, don't worry, we've got a little explanation here for you. So you choose one from each to decide on your character. After that, we're going to go on to the main characteristics. Now, you already have some of your characteristics because we have the Zodiac worksheet. Even if you decided your birthday on your own, you can look at the worksheet to get an idea of some of the characteristics that your character might have. Once you put those down on here, you can go to another help sheet, which is our characteristics help sheet. Have a look through this and decide any of these that might suit your character and write them in here. The more the better, remember. We really want to build a very interesting and in-depth character. Lastly, is there anything else? Are there any other things you want to add in there about your character? Do they have any pets? Who's their best friend? Uh, do you have any funny or strange facts about them? Maybe you want to say about their, their most memorable experience or the best holiday they ever went on. Any information, add it in there. And then we're going to move on to step number two. So you're going to move on to your stepping into character worksheets now. On your first page we have walking and moving. So what we want you to do now is start to physically explore your character. How do they walk? How do they talk? How do they sit? All things like that. 
Now, the only way to do this is to get up and start experimenting, okay? We want you to really use your body in different ways. I don't want you to feel like you anymore. I want you to hold yourself and sit and walk in all different ways to see which, which way of walking, which way of being suits your character. So, stand up and let's get going with this, okay? So, the first thing we're gonna work on is the head, the face, and the neck. Think about how your character shows their emotions on their face. Do they show everything they're feeling or do they hide behind their face and they not show anything to anyone else? Um, do they have what they call a poker face where you don't have no idea what they're thinking? Does the character look into other people's eyes or do they always avoid looking into other people's eyes? Now this is really interesting because it can tell you a lot about a character. It can tell you how confident they are People that don't like looking into other people's eyes often don't have as much confidence as people who can look at people directly in the eyes. So how do they use their eyes? Do they make eye contact? Also, do they have a signature expression or a resting face? Do they tend to look quite grumpy when they're resting and people think that maybe they're a bit mean and they don't want to go near them? Or do they always have a nice smile on their face that look very approachable and very happy? Anything you want to decide, write it down here in your notes so you don't forget. Once you've worked on the face and the head, you're going to move down to the upper body. That's your shoulders, your arms, your chest and your hands, okay? So, this is where you need to start getting up and moving around. Firstly, does your character have good posture? Do they sit up straight or are they quite slouchy? Okay, make that decision, okay? That's Everybody holds their body in different ways. I often have to remind myself to sit up straight, okay? What is their posture like? When they walk, do they swing their arms or do they hold them quite tightly beside them? Do they cross their arms and kind of shut themselves off from other people? Or do they maybe wring their hands around a lot? How big are their gestures? You see me here now when I'm explaining, I'm using a lot of hand gestures. Does your character do the same? Are they quite expressive? Or do they just kind of keep themselves quite tight and together? Maybe they do something where they're always playing with their hair or something or fiddling with their hands. You decide. The more information, the better. Also, how do they breathe? Do they breathe quite lightly or they're quite a heavy breather? Maybe they're a bit overweight or something or a bit older, so it makes them breathe a bit heavier. You decide. Then we have the lower body. The lower back, the hips, the pelvis, the legs, and the feet. How does the character move? Is it quick or is it slow? Okay, do they have quite a fast energy about them or are they quite chilled and relaxed? Do they feel quite tense in their body or are they quite laid back and they're in no rush to go anywhere? Is the character light on their feet or do they kind of stomp around and they're quite heavy on their feet? Do they even lift their feet when they walk or do they drag them behind them? Does the character's feet turn inwards or outwards? Um, do they walk heel first or toe first? Also, does the character need assistance to move? Maybe they're a little bit older or maybe they had an accident and they need a walking stick or a cane or, or even a crutch or something like that. Pay attention here to how old your character is. Because remember, an eight to 12 year old is gonna walk very differently to a 50 year old who's also going to walk very differently to an 80 year old. So make sure you pay attention to how old your character is. Once you've done all of that part, you're gonna move on to the voice. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the voice of your character. So finding uh, the correct voice to suit your character can be quite difficult. You might never have really changed your voice before. Apart from if you come to our classes, we use a lot of voice work, especially in games like Greetings Your Majesty, where you have to change your voice so the person who's guessing doesn't know it's you. Okay, so it's time to start using your voice in different ways. Now we have a fun exercise to do this, okay? We have a line from a nursery rhyme, and that's the line you're going to use over and over again, and you're going to change your voice in different ways and see what suits your character. The line is, little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. It's going to be fun because you're going to have to say that in lots of different ways. Just go with it and see what works for you and write that down. Now, there's different ways of doing this. You can use some sighs. <sighs> Maybe your character sighs a lot. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. 
Or maybe they use some hesitation sounds like um and um and uh, uh, little Bo Peep has uh, lost her sheep, something like that. Perhaps they have a nervous giggle and they giggle before they say something like <laughs> little Bo Peep. Um, try emphasizing different words. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep. Okay, so you're emphasizing different words. Speed up and slow down, use different speeds, and often try and or, uh, also, ugh, confusing my words there, try and play with how soft and how strong your voice is. You can make it more breathy. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep, or you can make it more strong. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep. So that's working with how soft or how strong your voice is. Then you can try uh, saying the line in different ways, as if you're a parent speaking to a child or as if you're a four-year-old who's just learned this nursery rhyme. You've got lots of different ways here to try saying that line, okay? Now pay attention to the volume, how loud you are, how quiet you are, the speed, how fast you're going, the tone, that's the emotion behind what you're saying, the pitch, how high or how low you're talking, the rhythm, and also, if you can, try out some different accents as well. That could be lots of fun. Play around and write down whatever you like in your notes here, and that will be the start of your character play. do that with an exercise called hot seating. If you've been to our classes before, you've definitely done hot seating before. It's a fun game and we think you're going to have a lot of fun doing this with your character. So here's what you're going to do. First of all, you need to ask someone to be your interviewer, okay? This could be anyone who's in your house right now. It could be a parent, your brother or sister, a grandparent, whoever's there that has a little bit of time to help you. Make sure you've asked them nicely first. Then you need to find something to film with. Sorry. That could be a smartphone, an iPhone, okay? It could be a tablet, like an iPad, or maybe you do have a camera at home. But do remember to ask permission before using it. Make sure you check with the person it belongs to first. Find a good place to film in, okay? Somewhere without too many distractions and without too much noise in the background. Stay in character the whole time. Okay, the whole time. Walk like them, talk like them, think like them, act like them. This is the whole point. This is practicing being in your character. Now, when you record, make sure you're holding your device horizontally, not vertically, okay? In filmmaking and film and TV, we always film like this, so it's a nice wide frame, not like this, so it's a thin, long frame. Make sure you're holding your camera or your device this way round. Um, and practice. You have enough time to practice, okay? You can practice answering these questions uh, before you go ahead and film your hot seating exercise. Practice makes perfect, okay? And remember, this is a work in progress. This is just step by step to help develop your character. Then, what you're going to do is you're going to ask your interviewer to record you answering these questions we have, like interview questions, and that's basically it. So we've got a list of 11 questions here. Okay, have a look at them before, make sure you practice so you know what you're going to say. And that's basically it, you've just got to stay in character the whole time. Okay, so what next? When you've recorded your hot seating, okay, we'd love to see them. Please do send them in to us, we really want to see how your characters are coming along. Also, uh, maybe you and your parents would like to share this on social media for, their, for all of your friends and families to see. If you do, make sure to tag us, Creation Drama Studio, and also use the hashtag lockdown project. The next step for the project are now on their way, okay? We're creating the other videos and worksheets to help you, and we'll be in touch very soon to tell you the next steps you need to take. Thank you and have lots of fun. See you soon.